guys, Ben, America's Baseball Camps, just touching base and uh, going reviewing your uh, hitting mechanics and swings from the Arizona Holiday Camp uh, in spring break in Arizona. So just wanted to touch base with you and go through some things that I see as a former professional uh, player and uh, relay those on to you. You can work on for the season. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and back up and watch in your video for a little bit. I just want to talk about a few things uh, on your stance and on your setup. Uh, a lot of things I like on your setup and a couple things I would recommend tweaking on your setup. Uh, I do like where your eyes are and your head position. You have good posture. Your barrel's in a good spot. Your hands are in a good spot. Your knees uh, are nice and bent and your, your feet look good. So from a standpoint, you look pretty good from the start in regards to our stance. One thing I would change, you'll notice here, as you like to start back a little bit, and that's okay. Um, the only thing I would change, <coughs> if you notice on this back foot, and your back knee, I put a little green line there. I need your knee to be inside of your feet like your front one is. And you can see how much this one's over your toe, and this knee goes straight to the ground with your foot out in front. Uh, what you want to do is you want to start, you can start back, but make sure your knee is inside of your feet. And as you notice that we need to take this foot right here, and we need to move that back to keeping that knee where it's at and moving that foot uh, kind of in here with turning that toe in a little bit, just moving that foot out just a hair to make it more like your front knee. And that's going to keep the weight inside of your feet, uh, get you to be more consistent, add more power, and make you a much better hitter to engage your lower half a lot more. So that's definitely an important thing I see in regards for your start. <coughs> now you do start 50-50 uh, move yourself back. That's going to what's called next is our stride position. Uh, I'm going to first check out that lower half, and as I go to take a peek, the first thing I do see is now we're going to focus on that front foot, and that's really important to, to focus on is when you land, uh, you can see it lands a little bit open, and that's called an open front side, and you can see what happens is that front hip begins to leak on me, and that's going to transfer a lot of power, uh, take away a lot of power, and be more of up in your arms compared to your whole body and your legs as well. So something to really be cautious of. At this point of your swing, you'll notice that your foot is got, the back heel is going to be facing this way. I want the heel to be facing the guys on deck. And you can see that that's not happening. So that's going to take away all your power of your legs. Transfer to your arms and you're going to be more upper body uh, when you're hitting, which what you don't want. You always want to hit against a firm, closed front side. And uh, so right now, I, I really want that uh, toe to be facing the first base dugout and right now it's more towards the first baseman or more towards the second baseman. And what you do is a, a good drill for that is you just stand in and have pitchers throw uh, when they throw their bullpens or, or throw to you live. You can just kind of go pretend like you're taking pitches. And you just sit here and you, and you take some pitches, but you can focus. You can see where that heel goes, where that toe kind of turns out. You want your swing to be able to naturally do that. You don't want to pre-set that up so it's automatically turned out and that's uh, something that you really need to work on in regards to your swing and your setup. The next thing we're going to talk about, uh, which becomes very important, is the lower arm. And you can see right here, uh, this is very typical of younger players. It's called casting. Um, and what happens is, is your lower arm gets locked out too early. This is what it should look like at contact, not at this point of our swing. You can see we're not making contact yet. We're making contact up there, and that's where you want... Uh, at that point, you're going to create that V, the power V, or whatever you want to call it, but it's going to be, your arms are going to be firm at that point, but not beforehand. And you'll notice how right when you get land foot, that front foot lands here, uh, this gets locked out. And that's going to be a, a very big issue as you get older, something to really work on, and, and not that hard to, to fix. You just have to uh, work at it with some drills, and I'm going to teach you one of those right now. Um, but this is a huge one to work on, even more important than your front foot. That's going to make a, a big, big difference in your swing. So what I would do is I'd get a Little League bat or a T-ball bat or something that you can really handle that's a lot smaller than what you currently have. And you'll notice how you have nice angle right there. What I would do is I would just rest that bat on your shoulders and then have someone soft toss you from the side uh, or head on with a net or just work it off a T. And what you're going to do is you're going to rest the bat on your shoulder and you're going to keep your elbow still and you're just going to basically take the bat off the shoulder and extend your arm. And right before you get contact, right before you make contact, you want to have that arm almost extended. 
and that means you're going to get yourself, you're going to be short to the ball, and then you're going to be long through it. We always want to hit, they always call it being short to it and long through it. And what you're going to do is if you can keep that bend or that arc in your elbow, you can be short to the ball and then long, long through it. Right now, you're long to the ball and long through it. And that's something that um, you can really work on to, to help you out in regards to taking that next level uh, of your swing. You can see here, as I go to swing, see how that bottom hand, that bottom arm kind of locks out on you. And then it makes me long all the way to the baseball as I come around. Uh, it's completely locked, which is going to make me late. And you can get away with it on slower pitching, but uh, as you get older, uh, that is going to get more and more difficult, and it's going to make you late, lose power, and some things. So it's pretty important to, to get that taken care of. Uh, at contact, pretty good when you can be on time. Uh, if you focus from the ground up, you have good posture. Your eyes on the ball, it's a palm up, palm down position. You're looking down the barrel of the bat, so that's all good. You can see this front foot is really too open, so we've got to close that off. Uh, your back foot is in good position. See how you finish is. And again, pretty good. I would kind of leave my head down at contact and do that, but uh, all in all, I, I think it's going to come back to those two things that we talked about with your bottom arm uh, and your front stride foot to be a little bit open. Let's see this next pitch here. So again, the front foot lands. You can see, focusing on the front foot, it does open up a little bit as I, as I put my foot down, so just really make sure to take some pitches and to really work on that. The other thing you'll see is your hands go back, but your arm gets locked right there. You can see now I'm going to be all arms when I swing, and I'm going to lose that power. I'm not going to be short to it and long through it. I used to always imagine that there's two balls that you're hitting. There's uh, the ball that you're, you're actually hitting and then an imaginary ball in front of that. So if one's here, and pretend like one is there, and you go take your barrel through both balls. Uh, but again, use that drill that we talked about with resting it on your shoulders, where it has that nice arc like it has right here. And you want to keep that arc as long as you can. So you're going to just get the elbow where you're going to kind of rest it on your shoulder, and then you're just going to have it go, have your take it off the shoulder and just go right to the ball uh, and really stay through the ball, keeping your head on it. So your front foot, your bottom hand, keeping your head on the ball, staying through the baseball, and those are the, the biggest things that I want you to work on. Uh, again, at contact, pretty good. Looking down the barrel of the ball, you have a nice angle in your in your legs. Your front side is firm, just open. You know how to fix that. You have really good posture looking down the barrel of the ball. Uh, so you're right there in regards to not many tweaks. It's just they're going to be those uh, pretty important ones that's going to make you uh, hit better pitching as you get older and really take your hitting to the next level. So uh, watch this video over and over again and hope this helps you out. And uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you hopefully next year and have a great season.